Uh, dear viewers, uh, today we will be talking about pharmacoeconomics and cost-benefit analysis. Uh, in the previous video, we have talked, we have defined uh, pharmacoeconomics, and this video will be uh, a continuation of that pharmacoeconomics chapter for pharmacy students and medicine students. You see, so what is important? Important is the definition of what you can say the pharmacoeconomics. So we have been through in the previous video that pharmacoeconomics is a division of healthcare that identifies, measures, and compares the resources being utilized, resources being utilized versus the services being rendered in a particular, uh, what you can say, services being rendered by a pharmaceutical care unit. So it is a process of efficient and effective utilization of resources for a targeted outcome. So this is what we have been through in detail, the definition of pharmacoeconomics. Now, what is important? Important is that dilemma matrix for the pharmacy and uh, pharmacology students, students of clinical pharmacology, that is very important because sometime uh, we are going to decide um, mode of therapy. And once we compare one mode of therapy with other mode of therapy, so this is the decision matrix that will help you how to decide. So suppose the, if the targeted outcome is worse, the targeted outcome may be same, and there may be a better outcome in shape of, uh, in shape of clinical uh, management of a particular type of disease. You know, you, you know the types of outcome. There may be out that outcome may be clinical, humanistic, or economic outcome. So if you are targeting the clinical outcome, you see. So that clinical outcome may be worse, that clinical outcome may be the same, or that clinical outcome may be, may be better in terms, of, in terms of clinical success rate. So, so, so uh, in case of pharmacoeconomics, we, we compare the outcomes, you see, these are outcomes are considered uh, versus costs, you see, these are all costs. The cost may be lower, the cost may be same, or the cost may be higher. Now, if uh, the worse, the outcome of one mode of therapy is worse, then of course you have to reject because, and 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 if the cost is high, so we have to reject. And same is the case for the outcome is if worse. If the outcome is same and there is lower cost, you may consider the alternate mode of therapy. You see, and if the uh, what you can say, the cost is same and the outcome is the same, then it is optional to the clinicians whether they are going to adopt that modality or as the case may be. Or uh, if the cost is high, of course, you have to reject. Now, having said that, if the outcome is better, then of course, and the cost is low, so you have to adopt. And in case of in case if the cost is same and the outcome again is it better, uh, then that will be a grace in disguise and we will adopt that. And in case of the if the cost is higher but, but the outcome is better, then you can consider the cost effectiveness analysis and, and the cost utility analysis or as the case may be. We use the term utility especially in case of uh, oncology where the uh, quality of life is simultaneously considered. So now this dilemma matrix decides whether you are going to adopt the alternate mode of therapy if the outcome is better and of course if the outcome is better we have to adapt. So regarding cost benefit analysis you see in as in pharmacoeconomics the resources consumed are 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 are, are uh, what you can say being tested being 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 tested being being utilized for the services being rendered but uh, here some details of the cost benefit analysis are that the salient features of cost benefit analysis are that both the variables are expressed in same units in same unit means that 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 if the resources are used so of course the resources are used in monetary term for example unit may be dollar may be euro or as the case may be of currency of that particular country where the study is being carried out and and the services being rendered, of course the services are if rendered, you see, there may be uh, 
uh, good outcome and good outcome clinical outcome may be may be in shape of good pain management good uh, cancer management good clinical success rate but but you see a good clinical success rate is 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 expressed here in monetary term and if it is expressed in monetary term so it means the services rendered are being expressed in monetary term and the ser the resources being consumed are expressed in monetary term mean dollars and this in this particular case the econometrists are at ease but the health professional shows skepticism that how uh, uh, if the quality of life is improved or how a life as if saved is being expressed in terms of monetary benefit like share the unit with the unit maybe dollar or maybe pakistani rupees or as the case may be so this 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 is the limitation of cost benefit analysis but nevertheless cost benefit analysis for example if you have been asked to start a polio immunization program or start a pharmacokinetic services and are teaching hospitals to give plasma therapeutic drug monitoring you see so what is the what is the point the point to remember is the stopping cost you see you may be cost you may be costing in shape of what you can say stopping hiring of certain staff you may be you may be you may be looking for certain equipments like high performance liquid chromatography spectrophotometers for pharmacokinetic analysis you see plasma level of drugs or in case of polio immunization you see you for the unit equipments for the maintenance of cool or supply chain and the facilities being rendered uh, at the working 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 field and in the hospitals for the storage of the what you can say the vaccines and same is the case for transportation charges and then the documentation charges and of course the total cost is being considered so the outcome you see is expressed in terms of monetary benefits and the resources being used is in term of monetary benefits and this is called cost benefit analysis you see and 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 but what is the limitation of cost benefit analysis it is difficult to ascribe the clinical outcomes like pain relief and avoidance of stroke in monetary terms so the econometrists are at ease while understanding the cost benefit analysis while the health professional shows skepticism that how the stroke Uh, can we express in terms of monetary benefits i hope now you understands the cost benefit analysis thank you